The X-Tool D7 is arguably the best value pro level scan tool for the money as it supports all system scanning, has decent service functions, covers bi-directional testing and also supports ECU coding. However, what happens to all these functions if your subscription expires? Does X-Tool retain these functions or does the scanner become a brick? My D7 subscription is expired and today I'm in a 2015 S500 Mercedes Benz plug-in hybrid and I'll be cycling through the different functions including ECU coding to see what works and if X2 withdraws any functions. Now let's get this. The D7 comes with three years of free updates and I got this tool in 2022. For full disclosure, I received it back then as a free review sample, but this video isn't sponsored in any way. This is just me trying to find out if any functions get withdrawn. If I go into settings, you can see that the scanner was activated in February of 2022 and the license expired in February of 2025. I'm already hooked up to the vehicle and so let's go ahead to connect to the vehicle via an auto scan to decode the VIN and that happens it's asking me to impute the year and that's 2015 every other thing looks good and so I'm just going to say okay let's start by checking out whether all system scan still works as usual with Mercedes there's going to be a ton of modules to get through and it's common to have a lot of codes most of these are actually stored or historic codes and the thing with Mercedes is that even though when you fix an issue except you go ahead to use a scan tool to clear those codes you're still going to have those DTCs stored in the memory however the case would have been different if any of these codes were reading current and so all system scanning still works now let's go ahead and do some bi-directional testing and so we go to system selection drive motor electronics and then actuation test. Let's see if we can actuate the engine oil pump valve and it gives the preconditions car should be off with the ignition on. Now you can see that the oil pump valve is about 10% open but if I go on to actuate it with the tool it goes up to 90% open and so that works. For more bi-directional testing I go into the fuel pump module. The RPM is zero but turning that on with the tool it goes over a thousand seven hundred and so this test is is working as well. Next is to the seat and doors module where I was also able to wind the power windows up and down using the tool. So it's fair to say that bi-directional testing is working well even after expiry of your license. To check on special functions I then went into motor electronics again and then teaching processes. This is like calibrating newly installed parts. And let's go ahead to teaching used fuel injectors. It gives the prerequisites including the fact that you shouldn't press the gas pedal at any point during the procedure. Now of course we can continue to complete this special function but because I haven't replaced the fuel injectors I'll just abort. And then let's move on to ECU coding and see if that works as well. Now there are several things you can configure or code in a Mercedes-Benz and you absolutely have to know what you're doing here as you can also wreck the car but one example I can quickly demonstrate is in adjusting how the car handles fuel sulfur for content. It's currently set to using fuels with low sulfur content. So assuming you're in a place where the sulfur content of fuel is quite high, you can easily edit that just as I've done here. But fuel sulfur content where I am is low and so I'll just change it back. And so in summary, this scanner apparently hasn't lost any of its functions despite being out of subscription and that's good to know. Link to the tool is down below just in case you want to check it out. Be sure to also share your experience if you have an X2 device that is out of subscription and don't forget to like share and subscribe if you've loved this and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace!